Hey y'all, for this video, I'm getting ready to make some candle holders. In which case, you can also use it as a little succulent holder. You know, the little succulents that you get from Dollar Tree. Or it can just be used as a makeup brush holder. I'm going to be using this Rapid Set Cement Awl that you can pick up from Home Depot. I've seen another YouTuber, UW Essentials here on YouTube, make some really awesome items with this Rapid Set. So if you're interested and you want to see how these candle holders are going to be made, stay tuned. But love you, so if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. I'm Z, I tell you. Look guys, I'm going to be using this bowl right here. And I'm also going to be using this cooking spray that I got from Dollar Tree. The bowl came from Dollar Tree as well. But what I'm getting ready to do is to take that little concoction right there. It's just a napkin wrapped around a pan that I'm going to take the spray and spray into the bowl. And then I'm going to mix it around with that napkin. So yes, I'm just going to make sure that I cover the inside of the bowl and around the top edges. Y'all, whatever you hear on that TV, it's just on the TV because I think the TV is watching me. I am not watching it. It has been on. And so if you hear anything strange, that's the uh, rapid set right there. But if you hear anything strange coming off that TV over there, I weren't paying that TV no attention. But right now I'm just adding some water into the uh, rapid set in the cup. And I'm going to go ahead and stir it around and try and get it mixed really well I'm going to keep on adding the rapid set into the uh, mixture trying to get the right consistency I told y'all about that TV over there sound like an opera I have no idea what's on it but as you all see I keep adding the rapid set into the uh, mixture trying to get the right consistency I don't think I ended up showing you guys the right consistency once I got it together, but you will see it when I'm getting ready to pour it into the bowl. It was a lot of trial and error. So that's the consistency right there. So right now I'm just stirring it around. The rapid set sets up really fast, so that's why I'm stirring it around before I can actually get that cup down in there. And then once you get your cup situated, you can go ahead and pour some more of the rapid set in and basically fill it all the way up to the top if that's where you want your level that's to be. That's what I'm doing right here. And it's also best to go ahead and cut your tape that you're going to use prior to getting to this step. And it's also important that you have your cup centered so that your candle will be even all the way around the top side. Okay, so now I'm just going to sit this right here and then I'm going to take and get my tape and cut some pieces to hold the cup down. And I'm going to make sure that it's centered, like I said, so that my candle will be even around the top side. Okay. So this is what it looks like taped down. And I'm just going to let this sit aside and harden. It sets in about 15 minutes, but if you want structural strength, it'll take one hour. This candle holding making is kind of strange and odd. And I said that because this here is hot as if it has been sitting on the fire. And baking is not hot 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 but it's hot it's very warm when i say warm it's warm y'all i think my cooking spray baked <laughs> my candle holder it has set up so now what i'm getting ready to do is to go ahead and take the tape off and try and get this cup out of here y'all this is funny Y'all know I put that cooking spray in there. It's cooking. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. This 
this is my first time doing this. So I don't know. I don't know why it's hot like that. Oh, it's going to come out. Well, you know what? I would rather stay in here until I can get this piece out because it's gone. I guess since I put that uh, cooking spray on it, on the inside, it's lifting up and out. But I want this out before I actually... I don't know if I'm going, going to be able to get it out. Because th this right here, the mold keeps going around in a circle. And I don't have anything to hold it. Trying to get this out. I don't know what I was thinking about. I should have sprayed this cup too. So the next time I take and make another one, I'm going to take and spray the inside cup as well. But in the meantime and in between time, I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out how to get this cup up out of here. I want you all to see this coming out. It is hot as if it's cooking. Look at that. I like how the little rim is. I like that. Now, deal is to try and get this out. One hour later. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Five there. hours later. <laughs> oh, y'all. I'm so emotional. I'm over here going, oh, oh, this is my first mode. Oh, my goodness. Look at the inside. Just like the cup was. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do is to take and paint this. Okay, guys, I'm just so taken aback at how well this came out. It is so nice. But what I did was wrote my name on the bottom, the Deidre's Creations, and today's date, 4 22 and this is my first piece. Oh. But what I'm getting ready to do is to go ahead and paint this black. I already painted the bottom side of it black and this top side gold. I'm going to be using this apple barrel paint that I picked up from Walmart in the craft section. And that gold that I used on the inside and the bottom is the same apple barrel paint. I went ahead and sped up the video so that we can get through this painting, even though to me it's still like it's in slow motion.
Okay, guys. The Deidre's Creations 417.22. And this is my first piece. Hey guys, these are the two candle holders that I made. Guys, you can actually add a suckling into it and it will be just as beautiful. This one right here is another one that I made and I just added makeup brushes in it. But let me trust and believe I will be making more of these and when I do, I will have my candle wax by the end and I will be making so many more. That turned out beautifully. Even though that was kind of a mistake this here is a prime example of how mistakes can turn into a good take but what happened with this one is that the wrap it set it pulled down in the bottom and it sat down in the bottom like that and i think i had more water in this portion right here than the wrap it set and i think that's why there's a discoloration there but Baby, I love it. But those are the candle holder slash suckling holder slash makeup brush holder. Whatever you want to call them. Holder, they will be. But levies, it's time to go. I love you guys. And I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today and come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.